couple of weeks ago, we did a GDX 470 Land Cruiser and did a little YouTube explanation all the way through and a dyno sheet and all the rest of it. And we copped a little flat on our Facebook page. All right, so the question was from John. What has wheel sissy, I think he means size, got to do with horsepower? Surely you know that. Yes, gearing will be different, but that doesn't change HP. So I'm not sure if that was a question, but basically it exploded. Do you want to explain or answer? Yeah, sure. So modern dynos that draw a nice dyno graph use a complicated algorithm, which is wheel speed over torque with an inertia factor. And that inertia factor takes into account wheel and tire size and also the wheel and tire weight. We do a ramp rate, and there's all this stuff going on in the background to calculate and draw a nice picture. The only difference between this car and the last one that we did last week or the week before, whatever it was, was the wheel's tire size. So the overall wheel and tire weight and the overall wheel and tire diameter. That heavier um, rolling mass changes the inertia factor, which changes the way the dyno calculates the power number. Simple as that. If, if we wheel this car out and swap the wheels to the other one, they'll make the same power within a few kilowatts because they're essentially the same setup and they always make the same power. Smaller tyre, over 200 like this. Larger tyre, less than 200. It's a pretty simple thing. And we've done it many, many, many times. Been asked many times. Most customers even expect with a bigger wheel and larger tyre and all that sort of thing to have a lower number. And they ask, if I had standard wheels and tyres, how much would it make, you know, blah, blah, blah. So everybody knows it. Well, it seems everyone except for John, but hopefully he gets the handle on it now.